Hello friends, we back for another Hunter x Hunter reaction. Today we'll be checking out episode 24, The Zoldic Family. So in the last episode, um, our protagonists were able to open the gate. They got some training from uh, Zephyr and uh, I forgot the other guy. The, the, the rude guy. And uh, yeah, they were able to open the gate. Gon revealed that his arm is already healed. So that's cool. Um, they meet um, this girl, uh, this girl uh, guard, and uh, Gon kind of wins her over by you know just um, just going through the punishment and uh, seeing that uh, Kilowa uh, refers to them as friends. She kind of made the connection that they are real friends because. You know they really want to see him it's not like for you know uh malicious motives or anything and um once she accepted that and asked them to help Kilua, it appears like the mom shot her with something because there was like an explosion in her face so that was very shocking very shocking so we're gonna get like the fallout from that and uh basically the mom told them that kilo was said uh i'm glad you visited me but you should just go go home something like that so yeah without further ado let's check out the episode welcome back so oh little kilowa just fine and a younger Does ilumi mean you flawlessly dispatched your target why ask I'm sure you already know. You are spying, right? <laughs> Mom is waiting to talk to you inside. Damn, Illumi's fast. Don't want to see her. I see. <laughs> Aww, a young, uh, young butler. The, the, the little girl. She's even littler. You here? While you were away, I was hired on as an apprentice butler, Master Kilua. My name is Canary. Canary. Hey, yep. You can have this. No thanks, but I do. I think my friend to told me about this Kilua. girl. You don't have to be so formal. Just call me Kilua. I'm afraid I can't do that. You are my employer, and I am just a humble employee. Wow. All right. Wow. That's pretty stupid. <laughs> Very formal, I guess. You were using the silent gate, weren't you? The silent gate? The one where you move silently. So you're completely undetectable. In the Zoldic family, it's one of the first techniques that we ever learn. Perfect for assassination. Interesting. I didn't realize. I suppose it's one of the many techniques I learned while I was growing up in Meteor City. Meteor City? Yes. That's where I was born. A city that's been erased from this world. What? Well, never heard of it. Where I come from, you're allowed to dump anything there. Which sort of explains why so many members of the Mafia and the Phantom Troop come from there. What? I'd like to see it. Hold up. Hold up. Did she just say this meteor city? is where a lot of the people that come from the mafia or where the mafia come from mafia and they mentioned the phantom troop so the phantom phantom troop uh as described by who's this Corapica is basically this organization of like elite hunters so they grew up in meteor city and uh they met she mentioned that it's a place that's wiped from the map something like that like it's no more interesting these days i need to remember do, that i'd be happy to serve as your guide <laughs> <laughs> you know the rhythm echo the rhythm echo what is that a technique using the silent gate Oh yeah, this one. 
If you just keep moving at a particular rhythm, it makes after images. I see what you mean. <laughs> it seems we have intruders. There's a certain a few of them, in fact. There's a certain talent can handle it. when it comes to like Those are the orders I voice received. actors that they can make their they voice sound younger. Abilities, so I must comply. Hmm. We'll split up here and keep searching the mountain. Oh my god, it's that guy! Please leave right now. Wow. Just who the hell are you? So that's why he knows that the the people here are monsters. I can't allow you to pass without permission. You really think a brat like you can stop us? And I'll remove you by force. What was that? Leave this one to us, boss. No reason. Oh. Damn it! Get it! Yeah. Damn. Do you wish to continue? She took down all these grown men without even breaking a sweat. Kinda reminds me of Hisoka, right? Are you a member of the Zoldic family? The way Hisoka would just beat I'm everyone. Really an apprentice butler. With your limited abilities, you're not even a match for the butlers. Not to mention the Zoldic family. <sighs> the hell he had the knife in his mouth I'm a hunter kid and there's no way I'm gonna lose to oh he's a girl. hunter <laughs> prepare yourself kid what the? oh okay so she was pretending she didn't know how to do that. Either that or she just learned it on the fly. I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. I'm begging you. Zebro. So you knew I was here, did you? Would you mind taking care of the rest? Ah, of course. Cleanup's my job, after all. Besides, Mikkei is starving. Huh? Huh? Ah! What? They're just gonna kill all those people? Somebody help me, please! <laughs> <laughs> so you knew rhythm echo already yes i did i hope you'll forgive me <laughs> you think you're stronger than i am absolutely not oh really i don't have any friends will you be my friend oh she can't though Dude, what's with the mom? Why does she have that evil eye? I honestly am. Huh. That's so stupid. Let's be friends! Just lost consciousness. 
cool she's alive wake up oh hey good morning big bro oh my god very casual arrogant come on look i feel really awful about stabbing you big bro sorry i realize i shouldn't have done that you liar can't fool you huh <laughs> Yes? Oh, hi, Mama. Uh-huh. Uh, yep. I understand. Well, Kill, you might want to know those friends of yours are over at the butler's quarters. <laughs> How about it, Kill? Should I ask Mama to have the three of them... Uh, oh, Miluki, if you so much as touch them... <laughs> I'll kill you. Holy shit. He ain't playing. I'm Dude. sorry, how rude of me. I am Kilua's mother, you see. And this is Kaluto. Kaluto. Why can't Kilua come to see us? Where is he? In solitary confinement. Wait, what? Before he ran away from home, Kilua stabbed his brother and me. Yes, that's what he told us. And then, because he regretted what he had done, our Kilua returned to us and entered solitary confinement voluntarily. In any case, we don't know when he will choose to leave. What? What is happening? What are you doing, father? Please don't do anything hasty! He's only just returned! What? Huh? I'm coming in. I One kill per day. Now. Thank you. But Grandpa Zeno, he isn't even sorry. No Grandpa one... Zeno. Yes, I'm aware of that. You may go now, kill. Okay. Dude, he just freed himself, no, no problem. Man, that really hurt. Hey, Miluki, you're right. I'm not sorry. I do feel bad. That's why I let you slap me around for a little while. What was that? Oh, kill. Silva would like to see you now. Silva? Dad said that? Okay, then. Damn it, Grandpa! Why do you always have to go and spoil him all the time? That's why he's become such a little punk! Because Kilua is special, Mil. Tell me, in your opinion, what do you think of Kill's potential? It's incredible, sure. Yes, go on. I think it's safe to say he's the most talented Zoldic in the history of our family, right? Even Mama thinks so, and I have to agree. Very good assessment. But there's just no way he'll ever be a good assassin. He's way too erratic. Erratic? A kid who wants to go and make friends could never lead the Zoldic family. In the end, he's too weak. Well, mentally at least. Hmm. Yes, that is true. Right? Take me for example. I'll kill anyone you want me to, no questions asked. Oh, I almost forgot. My newest bomb is a real winner, Grandpa. It's tiny enough that I can attach it to a female mosquito, and I rigged it to explode whenever it sucks on the target's blood. The wow. problem is that mosquitoes aren't great for precision targeting. Neil. What? You're a sharp boy, but that doesn't mean you're not an idiot, too. <laughs> oh, I must father be this Oh my pain. god. I'm afraid that something has come up. Farewell. Farewell. Wait, hold on! It's just that we'll be staying in town for a little while. Please let Kilua know. Yes, very well. I'll be sure to tell him. Good day. Very casual. And this girl. Who are all of you? What's her name again? 
We're all friends with Kilua. Shit, I don't remember. Kaluto, what are you doing? Kaluto. Coming. Sorry, mother. For her. Made some friends. Yeah. And what are they like? What are they like? They're a lot of fun to be with. I see. Dude, his dad looks like a gangster. How was the hunter exam? Oh, oh it was easy. Sit over here by me, kill. I wouldn't say it was easy. You almost failed in the cooking me. challenge, right? Your exam experiences. Who you met, how you felt. You can tell me anything and everything. Okay. To lurk about. And then Gon's opponent pointed a blade at his forehead. And that's when Gon Kill. Do you want to see your friends? No need to hold back. Be honest. Thinking back, you and I have never really had a father-son chat before. Wow. Imagine that. I was raised by my parents to be an assassin. And I raised you the same way. But you and I are different. And it took you leaving home for me to realize that. You are indeed my son. And still, a person all your own. And a kill. Promise me one thing. That you will never betray your friends. Nice. That. That's a big ass hand. Never. Betray them. Right? I swear. Huge. Kill. It's too late. Those three have already left. Return to your cell. <laughs> Return to your no, cell? I'm leaving. Step aside. What a splendid icy glare you have. Oh my god. What in the hell? Alright, so that was the episode. Uh, very interesting. So, we got a few things there. We got like the flashback of Kilua. Um... Kilowa and uh, Canary, was it? Something like that. And yeah, basically we saw how that guy, you know, the, the the one dude became part of the, the security force as well, along with the uh, Zephyr. And what else did we get there? Yeah, they, meant, they, they dropped some key hints like Kilowa being the most talented uh, Zoldic uh, in history from what it sounded like. So they really high. Uh, I think Kilua mentioned that as well, like in the earlier episodes that he's uh, seen uh, highly by the family. So they tend to be overprotective of him. Uh, they don't want him to have friends because, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, and so it looks like um, the dad was like okay with them. Um, Basically, uh, or okay with Kilwa meeting his friends again because, you know, he'll eventually, uh, you know, uh, go back to, like, his assassin ways. Stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, that's basically the episode. Uh, if you guys like the content, like, share, and subscribe. Leave some comments there if you want to interact with me. And if you want to support your boy even more, links to Patreon down in the description. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.